It's a stressful time for high school students as they receive those college acceptances and rejections and decide where to go next. Yeah, in today's Mental Health Monday segment, we look at the anxiety of college bound students and what they're grappling with and how to let go of the pressure to impress. A new email in her inbox. Her heart started racing. And I saw the confetti and I immediately just started crying. At that moment, it was just like I had achieved the goal. That goal, admission and a full ride scholarship to an Ivy League university. It was just really unexpected. Alizee Sosa, a senior at Downtown Business Magnet High School, will be headed to Columbia University in New York City in the fall. You don't normally see people who look like me in these schools. Alizee's parents immigrated from El Salvador when she was still in the womb. From kindergarten on... I've always kind of prioritized academics over myself. Perfect school, perfect grade. And I didn't realize how much of a toll it took on me. Changes due to the pandemic left time for reflection. Alizee realized that while her achievements were stellar, she was suffering the weight of her dream combined with the fear of failure. It was really tough for me. She felt responsible, not only to herself, but also to her parents and younger brothers. She's always taken seriously. The role model of the eldest sister, because if I can't do it, how can they? Keeping up with those expectations that I set for myself and that they have of me was pretty tough. COVID forced all of us to really rethink all the things that we were used to doing. Principal Sarah Usmani says the past two years have been complicated for students. Many face loss, loneliness and depression. Others began to question their goals. There's been a lot of change and a lot of need to exercise that um, muscle of flexibility and adaptability, I think. And that is a challenge, I think, for all of us, not just our teenagers. Alizee shared her worries and confusion with Miss Usmani and her mom. The hardest part, just being accepting of the fact that you need help. Her parents weren't able to help me with calculus or they weren't able to help me with an English essay. But they were. My number one supporters prioritized my happiness first. With her mom's guidance, Alizy stopped worrying about grades and reassessed her goals. I kind of shifted my focus from I'm getting into this amazing school and making everyone I know proud to like I'm going to get to where I'm going and I'm going to pursue something I want. That decision restored her confidence. Next fall, she'll be majoring in engineering for humanity to combine my interests in social justice with STEM and with technology. And she'll attend her top choice school after all. It's kind of ironic because I did end up getting into the big one, but if I hadn't gotten in, it was fine. Hey, well, quite an accomplishment. Yeah, she's going to her dream school. I love that.